Hi guys, my name is Naninga Koe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. So today we are going to do a double orange makeup look. As you can see from the video, I've already started by defining my brows with a concealer and I'm just using the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade Fawn. Now I'm just taking the LA Girl High Definition Eyeshadow Primer and using it as my eyeshadow base. And as I said in a previous video, if you've been following me, this eyeshadow base actually cakes if you don't blend it out. So make sure that you blend it out as you're going to see. I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to blend it out. I also think this eyeshadow base, because it's in the color white, uh, there, I believe there are other colors. I saw something like a nude or something. But uh, because it's in the color white, I think it's only best if you're making like bright colors like maybe neons or oranges, greens and such colors. It's not really good for a nude makeup look, but it's really nice if, if you can use it for like really, really bright and vibrant colors. Next, I'm just taking this ABH Novena 2 palette and I'm using the color D2 which is a very deep orange color and I'm just applying it in the crease of my eye to, and creating a wing. I'm now taking the Miss Rose Matte Eyeshadow Palette and taking a very light orange shade, lighter than the Novena shade that I used and applying it on top of that Novena shade, like towards my eyebrows. Miss Rose is a China-based company, but I think their Matte Eyeshadow Palette is really nice, like it produces really nice matte colors. I'm now taking a highlighter and I'm using the Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter and using it as a highlighter shade for my brows. So I'm just applying it below my brows on my brow bone, just below my brows. And because today we're going to do a cut crease, I'm taking the LA Girl Concealer again and uh, outlining the area that I'm going to apply the different shade of eye, of eye shadow. And I always start by drawing the outline of that place that I'm going to, to put the concealer. So I've just drawn the outline and then I'm now filling it in with the concealer. And I just took the color A4 from the Novena palette and applied it all over the place that I've put the concealer. It's just a shimmer shade and usually for a good cut, cut crease, always start with the matte shades and then finish it off with the shimmer shades on the eyelid. Guys, you'll just have to forgive me for this terrible, terrible wing, but I, I'm not really a fan of eyeliner by the way. I rarely do eyeliner in my makeup because I'm just used to simple makeup looks. But I tried today, so I'm just putting a, a winged liner because I believe that a cut crease looks best with a liner. And I think for, for, for this, I've, I've tried, I've tried. 
it's time for foundation and i'm just using the maybelline matte and poles foundation in the color 352 which is truffle cacao and as, as i said in a previous video i feel that this was not my shade but i'm i'm still yet to get another one because i live so far from the city like getting these products is there uh, is takes time so i'm just using a beauty blender today i washed all my brushes so there are not going to be any brushes in this video <laughs> apart from maybe the eyeshadow brushes that i use but yeah as you can see i'm just applying it to the beauty blender next i'm just taking the nyx wonder stick highlight and contour stick and i'm just using it to uh, to highlight and also to contour my my face basically i'm using it me yeah to contour my face it's a nice product it's affordable and it's also it also does the job like really well so it's a cream highlighter and contour stick I'm taking another beauty blender and I'm just blending it all out to make sure that the product is blended properly. For this step, I'm just taking the Sacha Buttercup Setting Powder and applying it all over my face to set my makeup. Then I'm just taking the Molten Gold, uh, Maybelline Molten Gold Highlighter and I'm doing my lips now, so I am highlighting first before I apply my lipstick. It's always best to highlight uh your cupid's bow before you apply your lipstick because it won't show afterwards if you apply afterwards i don't know for what reason and i'm just using the Too faced cosmetics uh lipstick in the color drop dead red Next, I'm taking the LA Girl flat, Matte Flat Finish pigment, pigment Gloss in the color Instinct. Eh, instinct? I don't know. Instinct. <laughs> now, these LA Girl Pigment Glosses uh, have really nice, vibrant colors. The only downside to them is that they actually flake off. Like, after some time, you can see, like, it's flaking off. But the colors are really nice. Okay, I'm just trying to like finish off the, the eyeshadow properly so I'm just applying a white eyeshadow in the in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm taking the only brush that I didn't wash, <laughs> which is just a flat brush, and I'm just removing the setting powder. And then I'm just doing a rough and quick highlight over there using the Maybelline Molten Gold uh, Metallic Chrome in the color Molten Gold Highlighter. So this is just what I, I did with my eyes. So I'm showing you. I took an orange shade from the Miss Rose palette and just added it on the lower eyelids and also a white one in the inner corners of my eye. If you did like this makeup look or this makeup tutorial, make sure that you give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video.